Hey guys, it's Hussein again from ABI Engineering. In this video, I'll try to show you how to determine the indoor design conditions for heat loss calculations. Okay, so let us first start by trying to define design conditions. I would define them as follows. Design conditions in an HVAC perspective are the indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity in addition to outdoor wind speed and direction chosen by the designer that would arguably produce the most practical heating slash cooling system from a comfort to cost perspective in the specific case being studied. Okay, so as mentioned from the definition, we can say that these design conditions are divided into two main parts, indoor design conditions and outdoor design conditions. The indoor conditions are indoor temperature and humidity and are mainly a function of human comfort. They have been experimentally selected based on the aim of providing best comfort for the dwellers of a certain building or space. Comfort is affected by multiple factors such as temperature, humidity, clothing, activity, mean radiant temperature, and airspeed. But the most practical parameters to control and have the largest effect are temperature and humidity. Therefore, most of the time when indoor design conditions are mentioned, people refer to indoor temperature, T in, and indoor humidity, Rx percent in. So how do we determine the indoor design conditions? The conditions can be determined based on a certain standard from ASHRAE named ASHRAE Standard 55, titled Thermal Environmental Conditions for Human Occupancy. The standard demands that at least 80% of a large group of people find a certain environment thermally acceptable. Through research and experimentation, ASHRAE was able to produce a graphical method that would provide the range of acceptable operating temperatures and humidity with corrections for clothing and activity. In addition to the graphical method described, one can also use the predicted mean vote method PMV created by P.O. Fanger. The PMV method provides a more numerical approach instead of a graphical one. The method produces a number which describes the average voting of a set of people on the thermal condition they are in. This number is compared to the ASHRAE thermal scale to deduce the voting. The scale has the following form. It is a number scale between minus 3 and 3 at the extremities and 0 in the middle. Minus 3 depicts something, someone feeling a cold sensation. Minus 2 cool. Minus 1 slightly cool. 0 neutral. 1 slightly warm. 2 warm and 3 hot. The value range for the PMV which corresponds to comfort is between minus 0.5 and 0.5. Therefore any number between these two numbers reflects being in the comfort zone and the under conditions are considered adequate design conditions. As stated the PMV is a calculated number and the equation used is the following. PMV is equal to 0.303 multiplied by the exponential 2 minus 0.036 multiplied by m plus 0.028 all of this is multiplied by l where m is the metabolic rate and l is the thermal load on the body okay so now that we're done with the explanation part of determining indoor design conditions we need a practical tool to determine these conditions. We will use a free online graphical application developed by CBE from Berkeley. It can be said to be based on the two methods we previously discussed. The application is called the Thermal Comfort Tool and it is a very handy tool. CBE did a very good job which we thank them for and the link can be found in the description. Okay, so let's visit the website and have a look at the user interface. 
this is the online site and as you can see it is set to be based on the ASHRAE standard 55 and the PMV method the screen is divided into two main parts inputs and outputs in the input section you have the factors we talked about that dictate human comfort first you have temperature then airspeed relative humidity metabolic weight which reflects activity clothing level and also the mean radiant temperature is incorporated into this section here but we will ignore it in our case on the right side here you have the output or results section here you can see the PMV number generated based on set inputs on the left this is the PPD or predicted percentage dissatisfied which is actually an estimation of the percent of people that would have reported dissatisfaction if they were put in a room with similar conditions of the set inputs this right here is a psychrometric chart showing the comfort zone highlighted in blue as you may know the psychrometric chart shows air properties in graph form most importantly dry bulb temperature and humidity any value of temperature and humidity from inside the comfort zone and between a PMV between minus 0.5 and 0.5 complies with ASHRAE standard 55. Changing the input variables causes the comfort zone to shift to the right or left depending on the new values. For the case we have here with conditions like an airspeed of 0.1 meters per second, an activity of type seated, and a clothing level of typical indoor winter clothing, the operating point set to an indoor temperature of 23 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 50 percent is compliant with ASHRAE standard 55 as you can see. Changing the clothing level from typical window indoor clothing to long sleeve shirts with sweatpants you can see how the comfort zone has shifted to the right. The PMV has dropped from minus 0.08 to minus 0.54 and the operating point is now out of the comfort zone and no longer compliant with ASHRAE standard 55. Therefore, a higher temperature is required to achieve comfort. Raising the temperature to 24 degrees Celsius would bring back the operating point to the comfort zone and our new design conditions according to the new parameters are an indoor temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and a 50% relative humidity. We can see that with the help of this tool, determining the needed design conditions is a fairly easy task, well more like a piece of cake. Okay guys, so now we've come to an end, but make sure to see my next video which will be about determining the outdoor design conditions for heat loss calculations. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Hussein, out.